Okay, uh, Bill, this is your April, uh, April 7th, 2022 lesson. Wrists were hurting so bad we didn't use a ball, uh, but uh, you, it shows you really don't need to even hit balls to work on your swing. And so there's no wear and tear on your wrists or body or anything else. You can do this in your mirror until you get the body, body mechanics down. Then you can test it using a ball, but until you can get to the right positions, you know, uh, hitting a ball is a tease. So setup is really good. Flat back, uh, uh, high eye line that gets your chin out of the way of your left shoulder on the back swing. This angle between the club and your arms is really good. Um, the only thing I'd change here is that see how your feet, the uh, yellow, the white arrow goes off to the right and <clears throat> and the green arrow is the target line roughly those should be parallel they sh those should be like railroad tracks oftentimes people put in and it looks like you're one of them put put their feet pointed toe line pointed at the target no it's parallel left of the target that that you want to point it at so you know, that's causing some problems so you know that's something you can do in a mirror uh, um, you know without even hitting balls so you should be able to get that down cold so uh, that that's good okay so now we'll go through this and we'll identify a bunch of stuff that eventually needs to be refined and at the end of it we'll narrow it down to just one thing one and a half things that you're going to be working on so don't panic with thinking it's too complicated. It really isn't. So, so position one is is really good. Um, you know we can we can straighten out the, the the alignment. Okay. So from this move on, remember, see how your your wrists are rotating here, like, and see so the butt of the club goes from that purple circle or ellipse away from your body because you're getting too handsy already. And then then you get it, this is where it's first parallel to the ground. So the good thing here is, see the toe of the club is up? That's really good. What's not so good is now the butt of the club is, you've pushed it away. If you really just do a one, uh, one piece takeaway, uh, that the butt of the club will gently follow this this white arrow or cursor slightly inside to get it out to this position this is like six inches away and this, this creates a depth problem so you know you start at that that arrow I mean that that circle the butt of the club is now here that's like seven inches away okay so uh, the head has come up in just that short distance has come up a bit. We'll see if that's a problem. So now the idea is you want to keep the shaft parallel to the swing plane. Now, the swing plane is a plane that's parallel to these yellow lines. It doesn't have to be on one of the yellow lines. It just means parallel. Okay, so the club is working. Now see at this point you it's, this is all arm bend, and you're you're sh shooting the club back here. So so when the when your uh, uh, hands get waist high, this 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 arm is totally bent. So you end up with Billy Barty arms at the top. Watch watch these watch, uh, all the all the good guys at this point. See at this point both arms are straight. See this is where you want to have the club. Okay, so so at this point, see how he, here's the club inside. His is the shaft is parallel to his toe line. As, as a matter of fact, it's right over the toe line. Okay, so but from here, see both arms, both of his arms are straight, and and then to here, that right arm is still pretty much straight. That gives him maximum width. See how you're pulling that thing in? So you're, you're getting that, you're pinching in that right armpit. And so you end up with Billy Barty arms at top. Okay, 
See at this point, I mean, you got like 90 degrees. He's got maybe 10 or 15. So that just gives him more width. See how he's all on plane? You know, as a matter of fact, he's right between those yellow lines. So he gets here, and we want to get there at the top. Okay. See the butt of the club? Here, we got to look for depth here. See the butt of the club is, is towards his heel, right heel. Okay. So you continue on. Now the shoulders really haven't moved much. Okay, now your, your butt's coming away from the wall a bit, two inches. In reality, that, that right cheek should go back. So this is your top position, okay. Now, so your ear's gone up about two inches, three inches, but it comes away from the wall a bit. But here, here's the problem, you have no depth. If you drop a vertical, I mean, see this green line that I'm pointing to? That's, that's the, the butt of the club started on that line, so there's no depth. So, so, you know, so you drop a vertical from the butt of your club here, it's out towards your toe, his is back here. So, so this is going to come in too steep, I can guarantee that. Whereas he, 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 uh, he completes his backswing, but as he comes down, look, he's coming in, see he's coming from the inside, like this, you're not, because you, there's no depth. So, so now this is what sinks the ship. See, now your, your hands are chest high and it's the, the butt of the club is outside of where it started. See, it's gotta, it's gotta get back. The butt of the club has to roughly get to that, that purple circle in order to hit. <laughs> and so you, now, now you, you sling this for, forward. Here's something else here. here. See this grip? You know, uh, see, see, you're gonna torque that left, that that uh, uh, left little finger. I mean, that right little finger. You you've got like a, a, a interlocking grip, but see, there's a gap there. So you want to cinch up that. I mean, that index finger of the uh, the gloved hand and the ring finger of your right hand should be touching. So, you know, this is stressing. <laughs> Maybe that's causing the wrist problem. Anyway, so I'd cinch it up. You know, those, those, those that, there should be no grip showing there. Okay. So, you know, as you come down, now, now, this is after we've talked, but look, here's the butt of the club. But of the club is here now. It's got a, it's got a race to get back to that purple circle. See what I'm saying? And your butt's coming away from the wall, so you need that left cheek against some, some one of the cheeks against the wall at all times. Okay, so so then you, as you come down, now you, you get to a good position here. I'm kind of liking that. But in order to hit the ball, that butt of the club now has to race back this side. And it, so at impact, it doesn't quite get there. So this is going to be a shank. So the, the butt of the club is here now. And it started there. So it looks like it's, the club is three inches closer to, to the ball than where we had a dress. So that exposes the shank. And sure enough, you're coming back from the, the, the back wall three inches. <clears throat> so you're moving forward. The good news is the, the head comes back to where it started in the, in the address position. So that's, that part is good. You got that going for you. So the really good news is, is the club is slightly behind your hands where it should be, but your hands are like a mile, this is like a foot away from where they need to be to hit. And part of the problem starts from the takeaway.
Okay. So as you come down, you know, with your good hand-eye coordination, you hit the ball reasonably well. And look, you're turning your hips through nicely. Head staying still. Shoulder tilt is good. Exit's on plane. So a lot of good things there, but you're a mile away from the wall. Look, look at this guy. It's hard to draw because there's, on Adam Scott, there's, there's, uh, there's camera movement, but we'll try. That's roughly it. So as he comes down, see that left cheek is against the back wall at impact. You can see it's two cheeks at impact. See that? And then get that. See, you got the action. It's just late. See that? See that foot action? It's just a little late. Your your lower body action, just you know, from the bottom of your shirt down. That's where you should be in impact. See, you got the double cheek thing, but it should be against the back wall. Okay, so let's look at at the other dimension. See if there's any thing we can learn from that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so the lines we draw here would be see if there's a shift slide let's see we'll get the zen golf hat thing going here Okay, see this little thing with your wrist? Okay, the good guys don't. Okay, look, look at this left foot. I like the idea that you spin it, but usually it's in the down. Okay, so so what's what's happening there? You spin it too early, so that restricts your backswing. So you get to here. This isn't a bad position. But... Because you kind of locked up that left knee, that front knee. And look, so when these guys go back, see that left knee points behind the ball? That allows a better turn. See how his right shoulder disappears behind his head? Okay. You can't do that. So, so you're, you're, you've rotated that like 60 degrees. <laughs> uh, uh, from where where it started so you've locked up this you can't make this backswing because of that you know now the so uh, you know the good news is you haven't shifted off here but but I'd, I'd save if it were mine I'd save that little I would not spin that that left foot you spin it there now watch when he comes through on his drive he will for sure I'm not sure with this short iron see see they spin it later see how he's spinning it but but on the follow through that that loosens up the hip and gets the the lead hip back and out of the way but this thing is uh, preventing okay so so one more look at this thing and then we'll sign off here so so as you come down I like this little shift see this shift that the left hip, you know, breaks that where it started. That really is good. And as you swing, you know, the belt buckle is close to where that left hip started. That's really good. I like to see that go to a stiff left post there, straight left post. And now you release that right side, which is good. And an early reset here, which is okay. You can live with that. You know. Now. Now you can free up this action by going to your toe on your right foot. This is this is kind of torquing your knee. But if you go up and and like do a toe dance and show the sole of your shoe to the fans behind you to the 
in, in this picture to the left where this cursor is, if the sole of your shoe goes like that, that'll free up the hips and everything else. But see, this grip is kind of funky. But, I mean, the swing swing's okay, except you got little odds and ends that amount to a lot. So, so the biggest thing, the biggest thing I do is start on a one-piece takeaway. So from here, all you do, you, 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 you know, it's like if you take this club and choke down till your hands are about a foot from the head and stick the butt of the club in your midsection, and then you rotate your shoulders till the club is, is perpendicular to the ground out here, that's a one-piece takeaway. And your hands have to be going inside. Uh, uh, you know, that's the thing I'd work on. You know, the rest of the stuff is not causing any great trauma. I, I'd clean up that grip too, also. Uh, I, I'd do that.